Let's do it. Right now, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s. I think the major headline probably is the wind. Pretty uh, quick there at north 13 miles per hour. Thing is, sorry, I'm trying to learn how to walk and talk. <laughs> We are going to be seeing a much better day on record than we have in the past few days. We saw so much rain out there yesterday and thunderstorms that it was just really a nuisance. It's time for a break for that. Definitely stray showers this morning, gradual clearing throughout the day, and we will see weekend temperatures rising very, very warm, just above average for this time of year. Looking at that sweeping radar, you can see we are dry. We are clear for a lot of spots. And as we head throughout the morning, like I said, look on this model here. Notice that timestamp. It's the morning hours where we could see some stray showers. Those could be showing up as low clouds, meaning just very cloudy. And then things will really clear up by this afternoon and evening. We're in for a beautiful sunset. Check out this uh, weather pattern we have in place. High pressure giving us that much needed relief and break from the rain today, bringing us plenty of sunshine this evening as well as for your Thursday. Now, average highs for this time of year, you're usually around 83, but with the wind out of the north and this weather pattern change, temps are going to kind of struggle. Upper 60s, low 70s for highs today. Areas like Westlake at 69, Strongsville at 70 degrees, uh, and it's going to be a little cooler. Of course, farther south, we will be reaching the mid 70s. Here's a look at that seven day forecast if you're planning ahead. Let's start off with the remainder of the week. We will see sunshine, could see some rain as we head into Friday. And then for the rest of your weekend, we are actually going to top off at 90 in some areas. That's a look at your Power 5 seven day forecast. Jackie, how's traffic looking? We're looking for